The Group 1 Coolmore Classic is the feature race at Rose Hill Gardens on Saturday. A quick look at the tab fixed odds market now and you can see that Forbidden Love does hold favouritism but it's a wide open affair as you would expect. Let's check out Forbidden Love's win in the surround stakes. And every row shows the way by two lengths on La Mexicana and Vangeli. Uh, way game goes up the inside then Joviality. Dame just sells a bit one pace. Elizabeth's running on out wide. Vangeli put pay to every rose. Wide out Elizabeth and Forbidden Love's getting a great gap and Forbidden Love went right through the centre and kicks away now from Vangelic then came Elizabeth but Forbidden Love races clear with the surround stakes Well as you can see didn't she make a mess of them there in the surround charging through the line under Nashra Willa on a soft track we're expecting very similar conditions at Rose Hill on Saturday Nashra Willa making the effort to get down to 54 and a half kilos to ride Forbidden Love and she's come up with the perfect gait as well so a lot to like about the favourite Forbidden Love but uh, let's have a good look at the rest of the tab fixed odds prices because Shalo is a horse that you can certainly make a good case for at the weight. She was great first up at Flemington. She has raced against Forbidden Love before. That was back in the Empire Rose Stakes during the spring and she gets a massive nine and a half kilo swing in her favour against Forbidden Love for that clash. So she certainly waited to give the race a real shake. Number six, Ice Bath, also in single figures. She's had the two runs back. They've been very competitive. She uh, grows a leg in the wet. The rain is expected to arrive, so things looking good for Ice Bath fans. Subpoenaed, she's drawn perfectly. Vangelic with 50 kilos. Kathy O'Hara in the saddle. You'd like to think she'll give you a great run up on speed. All Saints Eve, she seems to go in all sorts of ground. Her first up run was outstanding. And then we have Rich Hips. Sweet deal. Probably doesn't want too much rain around, but she's drawn well. She's got the class. Tricky gal, Crone, an absolute mudlark coming through the win in the Guy Walter. She looks big odds. And then we get out to Madame Rouge and Emeralds. And even Mizzy, big run last week in the Canterbury Stakes, just missing. Well, you can get double figures about her. You can get big odds about Sovereign Award and Dame Giselle. So just plenty of value floating around, as usual, in the Coolmore Classic. How am I going to play the race? Well, I'm probably playing it a bit too, obviously, with Forbidden Love, but I just can't make a case to see why you wouldn't stick with her. She was so dominant winning that surround. She's got the perfect gait. She gets the right conditions, and I think the 1500 is exactly what she's looking for. So I'll stick with Forbidden Love, number nine on top in the Coolmore. Number 11, All Saints Eve. Brenton Abdullah and John O'Shea teaming up again. Now they took out the Randwick Guineas last week with Lions Roar, and I think All Saints Eve is ready to peak here second up. Number 14 for third, Shay Lowe, the Victorian. As I said, she's so well weighted here against Forbidden Love. You can make a strong case for her. And number three, Crone, looks to me to be the value player in the race. Big odds for a horse drawn one coming off that booming last start win. My numbers in the Coolmore Classic, 9, 11, 14 and 3. Good luck with your bets in the Coolmore. It's always a great race to watch. Usually some big value floating around with multis, etc. So good luck and you can catch all of the action live on your tab app.